Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Link Data Manager. So I have these general notes sheets. I already have some text inserted. And this text is not actually on the sheet itself. It is saved as a Word doc and linked into this ORD file. We can do this by opening the Link Data Manager tool that comes with your FTOT ribbon. You can open the source file and see this is a regular Word document. Let's delete this link and let's pretend that we have a master general notes Word doc that we bring in and use in all our project. This is a very common practice. That way we don't have to come up with the notes every time and it's, it's good to be consistent. Let's click on the chain to create a new link, but instead of creating one from scratch, let's use one of the templates that came with our FDOT kit. Here you can find all sorts of different useful files, summary boxes, tabulation sheets, key sheet indexes, etc. Let's go back to the Word documents and select the template for the general notes. Now let's save it under our discipline. In this case, I'm working on a lighting um, general notes. And press OK. Now you can place it anywhere. They usually come with a snap point so you can place it at the border of the sheets. You will know something is a link when you open the, the LDM, the link data manager, and you highlight it and you can see this border around it. You can open the source file from here and you can update as you go. Uh, let's open it right now. And it gives you a, a, not a blank Word document, they already give you some something to start off. But we're gonna copy this pretend master notes that I brought from a different project and paste it over here. Just as simple as that. Now, if you don't see it updated at the moment, just right click on the link and update it. Sometimes it takes a while. And every time you open and close the file, you should update automatically as well. There it is. This is a great tool to use. Uh, that way you don't have to come up with the notes every time. And if you need to change something on the fly, you don't have to open the file, the, the general notes file every time. And if you need to have someone else check your notes or send it to someone for review, or even ask someone for the notes, you can just send the Word doc uh, in an email instead of sending the ORD file. Maybe they don't have open roads in their computer. So, and it's, you know, whatever you change in the Word doc, it's automatically updated in, in ORD. I also use this when I'm doing key sheet indexes. Um, I don't like to open my key sheets every time and every time someone adds a new sheet or something, uh, I just go to the Word doc and modify it and then it should print automatically uh, the index right like this. If you have to do non-automatic quantities, you can just uh, bring a tabulation sheet. And this time, instead of being a Word document, it's going to be an Excel document. So if we open this Excel file, uh, it, it looks familiar. It looks like a regular um, tabulation of quantities uh, table. And as you can see, all the fonts and sizes are in using FDOT uh, format. Whatever you type, it will get reflected in the ORD file because it's, it's linked. This is the whole point of having the link data manager. Uh, just update and refresh the link and you should see it on your sheet. If this video helped you in any ways, press that thumbs up button. It helps the channel get discovered and help other people. Consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any additional videos that I do. Thank you.